Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Here I am working on this Ariston Microgenus 24HE MFFI. The client had problems with their heating, but they had hot water. So they had hot water, but no heating. So first thing I did is I made sure that there was a demand. And then what I did is I went in here and I bypassed, I put a link created a link, disconnected the room thermostat and put a bypass in here. So I bypassed that. And then also what I did is I removed the time clock. I don't know if you can see this wire here. This particular wire here was the time clock. So I bypassed those two so that there was definitely a call for heat, made sure the room stats were up. And then underneath here, you can see the free, the, the, um, this is the diverter valve. So the diverter valve has three wires. The central wire is the neutral wire and then left and right. And so on, you have the call for heating or hot water. So I checked that that was working well and I couldn't see any problems, but it wasn't switching over to the heating side. So I was a bit confused with that part there. So then it so happened that after spending some time and checking the wires, I saw a wire here that was a bit frayed and then also you have this flow sensor back here as well. And when I put some tension on the wire, what happened is the heating kicked in, but then what happened is the hot water wouldn't. So you have to have the right stack. So it appears to me that there's either a problem with the wire, you can see there's a bit of issue on the wire here, or the actual sensor up here. Let me see if I can get a bit closer for you. So there's a sensor there. The sensor costs about um, £10 on eBay, so it's not too much. But I'm going to just um, show you now the boiler in operation. Okay, so the boiler is on. Power on to the boiler. It's going to turn up the room thermostat now because I've reconnected it. Okay, I'm going to turn up the room thermostat. Okay, so the boiler is on. The boiler is running now in heating mode. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the hot water, see if the hot water activates. Okay, the hot water is running now. And then you can see the sensor is meant to light up. This flow sensor is meant to light up and it has. But this wire will need change in and the sensor so I'm going to order the flow sensor first at the back. It only seems to work when there's a bit of a, a pull on it. So that's why I've put a pull here. Okay, thank you for joining me. If you have had any problems with this boiler before, um, please let me know um, in the comments below what, what experience you've had with it. I hope this has helped you. Until next time, bye bye bye.